The 69th book that I completed in 2023 is The Marrow Thieves by Sheree Dimaline. I'm probably saying that incorrectly. Uh, this is a fiction, a YA book from Canada. Uh, an excellent book with some plot holes that kind of holds it back a little bit. I ended up giving the book a B because there are just some things that happen in it that don't make uh, perfect sense or at least they're not explained enough. There's not enough clarity. The overall idea of the book I think is fascinating. The year is about 2050, maybe 2060, and global warming has basically ruined the world. And so the characters in this novel, they're all in, uh, indigenous uh, Canadian uh, characters. And they're headed north to to escape recruiters. White people are recruiting indigenous people and sapping all of the marrow out of their bones because only indigenous people can dream anymore. White people have lost the ability to dream. And so they're harvesting all of the marrow, which obviously kills the indigenous people. They're harvesting all of the marrow um, so that they can get their they can get their dreams back. Again, it, it's a it's a solid plot. It's a it's a solid premise, and I enjoyed it very much. And I was very happy to read some native Canadian literature. I learned a lot about about Canada in that in that way. Um, there's a lot of talk of schools and how the recruiters bring the indigenous people to schools. And they stay in these dormitories until it's time for them to extract the marrow, which I think, you know, is is obviously a, a recall of the schools that we forced in America and in Canada that we forced indigenous people into really not all that long ago. Um, so a very solid book. It, it's a quick read. Uh, again, I give it a B. Good book. Uh, there's a... a sequel to it which i think that i'll i'll read because it was definitely good enough to uh to merit that so the marrow thieves